lovely day to see you all. Everybody okay? My first question. My name is Jean from Radio Panic, Brussels, Belgium. My first question. During the past, uh, you had a chance to work with different guitar players. I remember Richie Blackmore, yes. Tony Iommi, Patrol, John Noru, Joe Bonamassa, Duke Aldrich. Which other guitar player do you want to play? Oh, you know, ID? If I say, it probably will never work. Uh, what people need to know is uh, Black Country Communion is, is a reunion is happening. Um, yes. Yes, we make the album in January. I'm making a Glenn Hughes album next week in Copenhagen. Um, I'm very excited to play with all those guitar players. And, and you know, I'm a, what people need to know about me, I'm a fan of other musicians. I'm a fan, a student of music, a student of the voice, a student of the, the guitar. I will always be studying till the day I die. I never will be the complete artist because I want to keep fresh and young inside and maybe attract more great guitar players. Bonamassa is a very close friend to me and we are going to do the reunion because we are in love with each other. <laughs> Thank you so much. Good question. <laughs> Hello, Glenn. Hey, hey. Great performance earlier, first of all. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, just going back to Black Country Communion. Yeah. After the uh, after the third album, we thought it was all over forever. Yeah. What was the changing point between you and Joe Bonamassa? What happened to make the band get back together? Something remarkable happened. Uh, in February, I was doing press for the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame where Deep Purple were inducted uh, and I was doing a, a press and I said to Billboard magazine that Black Country Communion would be the last band that I would ever play in because I'm very proud of that band and the legacy that has left three albums uh, and I was very happy to, to announce that's it for me because I'm a solo artist now and in March, Joe and I had dinner. We had a lovely time and we thought it would be great to get back together with Jason Bonham and Derek Sherinian and make the next Black Country Communion album. All is well, all is love within Black Country Communion. We are looking forward to seeing you next year. Here? Hello. Yeah. Uh, it's Axel from Metalian Magazine. And, uh, uh, I'm a very, very uh, big fan of Black Sabbath. After all, me too. Yeah, and um, when you you did an album with Tony Yomi, uh, Seven Star, uh, there was uh, a lot of controversy. Uh, I would like to know what do you think of this album with with time? Uh, with, with time, what do you think uh, of a Seven Stars album? Uh, uh, seven Star? Yeah. Oh my God! I, I don't remember the eighties. If you if you read my book, don't re recall the eighties. Somebody told me that I did a couple of records yeah. in the eighties. I'm not being funny. I don't remember so much unless you tell me. I remember you. You come over to my house and you took all your clothes off. Well, I don't know, maybe. But I know that when I listen to Seven Star and Tony's one of my best friends. Yeah. I've done three albums with Tony. Yeah. I have great moments of, with Tony. I, I'm, I'm proud of Seven Star. It doesn't sound like... I don't sound like Ozzy and I don't sound like Ronnie, who I love very much. Again, I'm a fan of other singers, but I'm proud of the work with, with Tony. I was, I'm just a different person now than I used to be. And uh, uh, we, in the future, make a new album with Tony Yomi when the Black Sabbath uh, is over. I can't hear you. Uh, when Black Sabbath is over, so after the last tour, uh, is it possible uh, to you to make a new album with Tony Yomi? Another one? Yeah. Another, another album? Uh, Tony and I speak and get together every year, yeah. and we sort of look at each other and go, shall we do another one? And it's kind of like, a, kind of a little 
joke, but it's, you never know because we really are close friends and we really do work together really, really well. But more importantly, what I want for Tony is for his health to be great. Yeah. Tony is doing fantastic. He's really happy. He has a great family. The most important thing about Tony Iommi is, is I just want him to be here on this planet alive. And I would be honored to do another record with Tony, but in the real world, we have to wait and see. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Christian? Don't be frightened. Who's that band playing? Here. Hi Glenn again. Any plans to work with your good friend Chad Smith from the Red Hot Chili Peppers again? Next week. I'm making the album next week and Chad will fly in. Uh, he's in Europe right now and he will come and play on one song on my new album recorded in Copenhagen uh, for the next three weeks and the album will be released November 5th. November the 5th this year and Chad will be on one song and maybe a video. Uh, Chad is my best friend. He's played on all my albums for 12 years. There's no greater person I know than his, he's such a great human being. And he's such a charity guy and he's, you know, he's, I love him to pieces and he's uh, sympathetical to my, my belief. I love him. Grayson? Another question? Yeah? You sure? Yeah. It's me again. Uh, I would like to know, uh, I'm not a singer at all, but uh, with your age, uh, you sound very, very good. Uh, and uh, other singers like uh, Klaus Main of Scorpions uh, yeah. doesn't sound as good as you. Uh, what is your secret? A lot of sleep, a lot of water, a lot of breathing exercises. I have apparently very large lungs. The lung capacity is quite large. Um, I warm up my voice for half an hour before every show, like an athlete would warm up before a event. I drink a lot of water and I get I'm very calm before I go on stage. I'm very relaxed, I meditate a little bit. And I trust that I will be okay and I am very in touch with the spiritual side of things. I'm very grateful to still be alive and to give back to you what you have freely given to me, which is love. I'm a bit of a hippie. I always say that music is the healer and love is the answer. Thank you. Very good.